Hi, my name is Sunday. In this video, I'll be talking about Nigeria's relationship with China. Nigeria has come so close to China in loans, in business, in trade, in different things that they don't know when they conceded or signing an agreement that will make Nigeria belong to China. They have signed, they have put their hand into something, into Wahala, into fire. Something that China will use to hold Nigeria bound. So not only Nigeria and its citizens as well. If care is not taken, citizens will belong to China as well. But first, if you know you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and click the notification bell. So whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Now let's get started. It says the House of Reps representative discovered a law agreement concedes Nigerian sovereignty to China. A law agreement that concedes that gives Nigeria sovereignty, Nigeria power, Nigeria everything that Nigeria owns to China. So that is what the House of Representatives have found on the date which is July 29th, 2020. So this is what they have found, an agreement that Nigeria has signed with China in collecting money, collecting loan from them. There was something inside it that they did not see. And probably I believe they saw it, the leaders they saw it because they don't care. They saw they don't care about the future. The whole ones that signed the agreement, they know maybe five years, ten years is what they are having in this life before they will leave. But they signed the agreement that will concede Nigerian sovereignty, that will give Nigeria authority, power to China. Should they fail to pay the money back, the sovereignty of Nigeria will be handed over to China if Nigeria fail to pay the money back. So this is what the House of Rep have found. It says members of Nigeria House of Representatives have discovered that clauses in a loan agreement by the Nigerian government from China concede the country's sovereignty to China. Clauses inside the agreement, the paper go your many. They go sign, sign here, fair makwa, sign here, sign here, sign here. Not knowing that inside of it there is a written clause, some small statement. They go very small. The clauses are something that are very small. It not go they bold. It will not be bold. It will not be being on lengthy page. Very small words. Might not be a little sentence. They not read the little sentence. What did that sentence mean? And it was written in English, not in China language, not in Chinese language. It was written in English. They found they read now. It's not their sin since 2018. They find it since 2018. Now 2020 is now they are finding out that there's a clause inside of which they overlooked. Of which I believe they didn't overlook it, they saw it, the old one saw it. The people that signed this, they saw it. It says, Chairman of the House Committee on Treaties, Protocol and Agreement, to say, Nicholas, to say, raise the alarm while probing loans received by the government. He was the one, the chairman, raised the alarm. He alerted other people why he was probing, why he was cross checking many things. So he alerted me when he saw it inside before signing the agreement. Why being in or in signing agreement? Why not analyzing the sequence? Why not analyzing the treaty? Why not analyzing the laws, everything that agreements before signing such a loan that we hold bound a whole nation, not just a government, a whole nation that we hold bound a whole nation. So why not look at it first since 2018? It's now they are finding out a whole country, a whole nation. It's now they are finding an agreement that have signed. There was a clause, a written statement, a small statement written inside the agreement that we hold them back should they fail to pay back the loan. Not only holding just a government bond, only just an industry bond, but holding the whole nation belonging to China and its citizens. I will tell you where it's written. And its citizens. It says the committee noted that the clauses in Article 81 of the Commercial Loan Agreement signed between Nigeria and the Export-Import Bank of China allegedly concede sovereignty of Nigeria to China. It concedes the sovereignty of Nigeria to China in the four. $100 million loan for the Nigerian National Information and Communication Technology Infrastructure Backbone Phase 2 project signed in 2018. In 2018, now they are finding out that there is a clause, there was a written statement hidden inside the agreement. China purposely hid the, hid the written statement inside, the clause inside. Not just one, clauses inside that, that concede, that gives the authority, the sovereignty. The all of Nigeria to China should, in case they fail to pay that money back. It says, according to this day, 
the controversial clause in the agreement signed by Federal Minister of Finance Borrower, the Federal Minister of Finance is Nigeria, they are the borrower, on behalf of Nigeria and Export Import Bank of China, which is the lender, they are the one that lend the money, that lended the money, on September 5th, 2018, provides that, now listen to it, the borrower hereby irrevocably waives any immunity on the grant of sovereignty, irrevocably, they cannot revoke it. They cannot revoke it for God's sake. Irrevocably waives any immunity on the grounds of sovereignty or otherwise or itself and its property. Its sovereignty, itself and its property in connection with any arbitration proceeding pursuant to Article 8.5. If they do it, they are going to take them to arbitration court. So that is what they are saying. So it says, therefore, with the enforcement of any arbitral award pursuant yet to except for the military asset and diplomatic asset, only the exemption, only the things they left at the military assets. The military cannot belong to China, but the citizen, Nigerian citizen, all the all the boys when they do ga ga ga, when they do anyhow, all of them, if it comes to pass, all of you will become China's own. If it comes to pass, all of you, all, all will become China's own. So that is what they are saying. Only its military, only the military of, only the military, Nigerian military will not become China's own. But all other people will become China's own. This property, every property built on that place, plus Una has, the houses one are built. Its property, every house is built in that place become China's own. Everything itself, its sovereignty, its power, its authority. It's law, law, law. Nigerians' law becomes China's own. They can decide where to turn the law to. They can decide how to use the law. So that is what is eating inside just because of longer throats. They are looking for money in different way. And when they bring the money, they say they are bringing the money to come and develop the nation. But the purpose of bringing the money is that they might divide it into, into two. Take one part and use the other part anyhow they want to use it. So this is the problem we have. They know they have just a shorter years to live. Now they are selling a whole nation, contracting it to China. They knew, they knew about this thing. They know that the clause was there before. Those are, these, are, these are trade ministers. They knew about those things. They go out to different countries to go and make trade. So they can't say that they have not, they didn't read it. It was not written in Chinese language. It was written in English. It was written in English. They said they didn't see it. It was written in English, not in Chinese language. They saw the clause. I believe they knew what they were doing. So they signed it. See, they still signed it. I will tell you what another minister is saying after all these things. So now listen to him. He said, however, Minister of Transportation, Mr. Roti, me and Mechi, all the has not to investigate the loans being received by the government, adding that the probe will jeopardize chances of the country in getting further loans. What is going on? The Minister of Transportation, He's saying that they should not go ahead now because of what has happened. They are finding a clause that Nigeria is being conceded to China based on that law that they have collected in 2000. That one has already been signed. They have signed that one already. So if Nigeria defaults, if they fail in paying back, Nigeria becomes China's home. And the citizen, all those, all Nigerians in need become China's home. All of them become China's own. Everyone in Nigeria becomes China's own. Now, this same minister, another minister is saying that they should not go further with other loans that they are about to see collect. There are many other loans on the way. Now, he's saying that they should not go up, they should not go longer with the probe. They should not continue investigation, investigating every loan by loans, looking at the agreement, whether there are things that are also hidden inside it. You might say that they should just forget about it. That they, those people should also sign all that loans first. After they, they want to also concede different things. He knows that when they continue with this probe, when they continue this investigation, they are going to leak many, they are going to find many clauses that are hidden in different agreements, different loans that are about to see gets. There are many loans still on the pipeline that they are still wanting from different countries, especially from China. Many loans that they are still wanting. Now, this man is saying that the Minister of Transportation is saying that they should just forget about the probe, about the investigation, that they should not call all those people to board, that they should not ask them about how the agreement is, they should not look into the agreement, because there are many things, when they look into the agreement, there are many things that will make them to lose the loan, and they don't want to lose the loan, they are not concerned about the infrastructure, they are not concerned about the things that they want to use the loan for, they are concerned about the gain that they want to gain from it, so that is it, he said the Minister of Transportation is concerned about when that loan comes, definitely 
definitely there must be part of his own. It's concerned about his own parts. It's not concerned, not about the, maybe this law now, if we don't get this law now, maybe we're not comfy do the infrastructure. No, they are not concerned about that. They are not concerned about that. It's not concerned about that. It's only concerned about his own part. If they stop this law now, his own part will not be there. If they stop this law now, he will not be able to get his own courts. So that is why he's trying to tell them to forget about it. They should just at least stop. He says he had it that China was monitoring happiness in Nigeria and the probe we sent a negative message to Asian country about Nigeria. He says that because of now this probe, now Nigerians, the same, the representatives they are looking into it, what has happened before and what is still happening now? He says China is also watching. So because of that, China might not want to give money again. Because of that, China might not want to release loans, other loans again. He says China's are monitoring. Why China themselves? They are trying to add other clauses into different agreements. They are trying every loan, everything. They are businessmen for God's sake. Businessmen want to always prey on the on, on the other person, on the weaker vessel, on the weaker ones. There must be something for them to gain from the weaker ones. And Nigeria is on the weaker agreement, the weaker side. So China know what they are the one that they are on war stage. They are on war stage businessmen. War stage. They are on war stage. They are on war. They deal with America on that people. So they know what it is. They know what where to put the clause. Where your high will not go. Where they will not go. They won't know how to tweak them. So that is the problem we have now. They are selling that Nigeria against our future they are selling at nigeria the nigerian people boys now the election is going on and many boys they haven't sell just for 100 naira on 1000 naira they are shooting guns here and there your future is being sold at governors ministers that are camp that are campaigning to enter into the office they are sitting down crossing their legs with bottle of wine while you are you are parading around the street under the hot sun you are parading around the streets Meaning those the governors and the and the press they are sitting in their office comfortably drinking wine while you are killing yourself outside, wanting the, the whole wanting them to come into power. What is happening? It's time we change our orientation, it's time we change our mentality. He went on to say, says, he said, My fear is that if this probe continues. At the end of the day, some sections of the country may suffer. In, in oversighting, there is what is called national interest. What is national interest? It's not national interest. He's saying that if this probe continues, he's afraid that there are some part of the country that might suffer. They are the ones to suffer. If this law, if the probe, the investigation continues, he knows that he's going to lose money. He's not going to see his own court. He's not concerned about the national interest. They are not after there for national interest. That is it. They are not after you. After you parading the streets, campaigning for them, shooting guns here and there are around the streets for them. They are not concerned about you. They are not concerned about you for God's sake, for heaven's sake. It's time we wake up to our reality. They are not concerned about you. About you as in Nigeria, they are not concerned about you. They are only concerned about what they are aiming, what they are receiving, their location. That is what they are concerned about. You don't know. That is what they are concerned about. That is their concern. That is just their concern. It says, but in asking questions on this loan now, it may jeopardize this loan. In in asking questions on this loan, in investigating these loans, whether they are seeing some clauses that we see send Nigeria for that, whether they are seeing some clauses that we see do one or two damaging to the nation, he said they should not investigate it. They should not probe it. Say if they continue to investigate it, it might damage it, it might jeopardize the loan, it might make the loan not to happen, it might make them not to give them the loan. That is what is, is concerned about the loan. It's not concerned about the well-being of Nigeria. It's not concerned about what they are selling at. It's not concerned about the, the crosses that China and other nations are hiding inside it. That is what it's concerned about. It's concerned about the loan. It might jeopardize the loan. The Lagos Ibadan is not complete. The Ibadan Kano is not complete. That's what they said. It's not concerned about the other thing. That the other nation that is giving it to you, what they are interested in. It's not concerned about those people's interests. It's only interested about what we enter into their pocket. That's what they are interested in. He says, let the government of China not say there is a disagreement in the government on this loan. And so we will not give this loan. Ah, let the government of, of China will say, ah, now nah, they are finding out that there's a clause. Now nah, they are finding out that there's something hidden inside the agreement of 2018. That they are about to concede their nation, their sovereignty to them. Now they are fine that. So because of that one, now China will say, okay, we will not give you another loan. That is what he's saying. 
So he went on to say, he said, so I appeal to the chairman to give us from now to December when we are likely to secure the loans. Then from January, February, you can resume this investigation. Wow. He's appealing. He's saying that, no, they should just calm down. They should stop the investigation. That it should just give them from now to December. From now to December for them to quickly embezzle. From now to December for them to quickly secure the loan. After they have secured the loan, so that then they have, they have planned it already. So that when the loan comes, then his own call to enter his, his account. The other person's call to enter their account. That's how they have planned it. They want to quickly secure the loan. Because if this event, investigation continues, it might end as the loan. So it's appealing. It's appealing. It's begging. It's begging. It's not even concerned about the first thing we have heard about now. About the clause that have been hidden in that of the 2018. He's not even concerned. Is he concerned about the loans that are not yet come? He's concerned about the loans that are not yet come. He's not even pleading and say, how, how could this thing be? How can this thing be? How did this thing happen? How, how, how did they hide that something inside that place? He's not even concerned about thinking about how, what is happening? How did China, why did China hide such a thing inside that place? Inside that, inside the clause. He's not concerned about that. He's concerned about the loans that is about to see come. And there will be many concessions inside. There will be many clauses inside that will, that, that, that will concede Nigeria in one way or the other. There will be many things inside. That is what is concerning. But I say, but however, Amesh's plea was not taken as the committee chairman said that the minister should return to the committee on August 17 with other ministers to give details of the contract agreement. His appeal was not accepted. However, his appeal was not accepted. They said they should come back in August 17. Nigeria is in jeopardy. Nigeria is in serious danger, in serious harm's way. Of which it might be 50 years time, this thing that they have signed will come to effect. But before 50 years time, those people have passed away. All these youth that are parading the streets, it will not be your time. At that time, you will become using Chinese passport. At that time, Chinese will take over you the way they are taking over our Kong. That's how it's going to be. Or at that time, 50 years time, at that time, they will not be the one making laws the way they are making laws for Hong Kong, changing the constitution of Hong Kong. That will also change the constitution of Nigeria. If you people don't wake up to the reality, that is it. If you don't wake up to the reality, that is how it's going to be. That is how it's going to be. They are sitting that comfortably in their house. They are parading the streets fighting for them. They are sitting that comfortably in their house. It's hard time. Every year people preach about it. Election is coming. Every year people preach about it. Don't kill yourself because of them. But see, people don't... How much is it? People don't know. People don't know. People don't know. Now Nigeria is being considered due to the agreement that they have signed. Due to the agreement. This is it. It's being considered due to the agreement that they have signed. So this is what is happening now. And this is what is still continuing happening. I know at the end of it all, Plus, the rep, these people are still the same people. All together, are still the same people. This news just broke out. That is it. Before you know it, it will just pass under the bridge. And the, 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 the young ones, the youth that needs to, that, that their future, they are selling at their future, all of them will still sit down, fold their hands. That is the problem. They will still sit down, fold their hands. So, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, comment, and also share it to others as well so that they get to know about it. So, that our orientation, our mentality, our, our lives, our foresight, we change so I will not kill ourselves for them and plan for our future a better Nigeria, a better future for our children, for our lives, for the young ones. So, as I said, thank you. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe and make sure you click the notification bell so whenever I upload any new videos or information, you will know. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.